If you want to upgrade to Windows 10, there are two ways you can do it. First, you can simply click that famous button, Get Windows 10. In order for that button to appear, your computer must be updated through the Windows Update tool. From the control panel, go to System and Security, and from there, select Windows Update. Make sure you have the latest critical updates downloaded. If you haven't updated your system in quite some time, your computer may need to be restarted numerous times to check for the updates in order for the button to appear. If you've already got everything nicely updated, the button should have already appeared. If this is not the case, however, and you can't find the option to update to Windows 10, you might want to try the second option to update your system. Once you've got the button, give it a click in order for a report to appear which will tell you whether or not your system's hardware can support the update, as your computer may be too old for it. If your computer supports the update, you'll get the green light. Simply click it to reserve your copy if you haven't already done so. Once you've reserved it, you can then decide when you want to download and install it. When the download is ready, it'll ask you whether or not you're ready to install. If you're not, you can always take a look at another option. The other option to install it is to use an installation DVD or USB. To do this, you can use Microsoft's official tool, the Media Creation Tool. Download it and begin. First, accept the terms and conditions of the product license. You'll then have to decide if you want to update directly or you prefer to create a USB in order to use it on another computer, i.e. create an installation media for another PC. If you want a clean installation, meaning that if you want to delete everything previously on your PC, including personal files, I recommend the second option. But if you just want to simply upgrade, click Next and wait for the 3 gigabytes of Windows 10 to download. Accept Windows terms and conditions and continue through the process. If you choose to create the installation media, you must choose the language editing system and architecture. If you want to find out if yours is 32-bit or 64-bit, simply right-click My Computer and look at their properties, or go to Control Panel, System, and System and Security. Once you have everything, choose to use a USB or create an ISO for use by itself, or record it onto a DVD which follows a similar process to the one I explained earlier. Install it onto the system you wish to update, and that's it. Welcome to Windows 10.